This film is a promotion from my personal A to Z of ocean liners and cruise ships. There are 233 ships featured. As you'll see, it contains footage going back to the 1920s. This is the Mauritania, Cunada. She's seen here making her way up Southampton water towards the port. This particular film was taken by a very keen yachtsman with a 16mm cine camera and has been converted to DVD. There's more old footage. This is the Berengaria of Cunard. Again, taken in the 1920s, leaving Southampton. You'll see in the background shortly a three-masted sailing ship. Passing the buried area and making our way up Southampton Water was a majestic. This is a white starliner. And like Berengaria, a war prize from the First World War. There are, of course, many old favourites, like Canva, seen here at the D-Day celebrations in 1994, included in the set. We see QE2 leaving Fremantle for the last time. These pictures were taken as late as March 2008. Where there is original soundtrack, some of this is included on the discs. Amongst the A to Z, there are many ships that were lost during the Second World War. Orcades II, seen here in Colombo, was one of these. She was sunk by a U-boat in 1942. The name of the ship when she was built and when she went out of service, if that's the case, and her original tonnage is shown on the DVDs before each clip. Small ships like the 2,000 ton Hebridean Princess are shown, and I have Hebridean International to thank for these films. Then of course we have quite a few of the larger cruise ships like Carnival Destiny here, well over 100,000 tons. She's seen here entering Nassau. We also show some film of ships popular with British travellers, like the Artemis, seen here leaving Madeira. There are in fact quite a lot of p and ships of various ages shown during the course of the DVDs, as indeed are ships of the Cunard Line, the Orient Line, the Union Castle Line, Shore Savile and many other favourite shipping lines most of which are now defunct. Another great favourite of the British travelling public is the Fred Olsen Line. Here we watch Black Watch as she approaches Nassau. And here she is again at Circular Quay in Sydney in March 2008. The fact that the film spans such a long period between the 1920s and 2008 gives it an historic value which will be of great interest to anybody interested in maritime history as it has developed over the last century. I trust you have enjoyed this trailer and look forward to hearing from you.